Good morning, everyone. We got Nico's car in my bay today. I'm gonna be doing some work on that. Yeah. Got Nico back there, signing things up. So today, we're basically gonna be working on getting this thing ready for a little trip that we're gonna be taking this weekend. Um, he's gotta take the wheels off. And then inside of these boxes right there, we got some new wheel bearings. So we have a buddy of ours, his name is Danny. He's gonna be doing the work on pressing these wheel bearings in, but Nico's gonna take the hubs off today. And then we also have Corey's car in the building and we're gonna be doing some exhaust work on that car. So he's got an exhaust leak. We're gonna replace it with a full factory system from mid pipe back, or I guess you could call it cat back. Um, it is a stock system, but he wants this thing to be a little bit more road friendly. And we're getting that thing ready for the trip as well. In another video, we're gonna touch base on what Nico's got going on. But as far as the Forester goes, exhaust is fairly simple. You just take it apart, get it out of the way, and then you slap the new one on. It's really minimal work. But let me show you guys what I'm gonna be touching and you know, obviously I'll take you through the journey of doing it all and everything like that and tell you the tools that you're going to need. Now, bear in mind that the tools that you might need for your exhaust is probably going to be different than this exhaust. The reason why I say that is it's very common for bolts on exhaust to be re replaced. Replaced with different things and when that happens, obviously you're gonna change up your tools, but the majority of the time you're gonna use a wrench, um, a ratchet or a power ratchet. Obviously we're gonna probably use the power ratchet just to make our lives easier. And then take the exhaust off some hangers. That's pretty much it. And let me show you what I'm actually working on under this car. Thankfully Corey's car is already lifted. I don't really have to put it on jack stands, so I'll show you what is going on. We're under the car right now. I'm just trying to show you guys what it looks like under here. So you can tell by the front of the exhaust there, you're going to have a two bolt flange. You take that off. Once you've taken that off, back here you're going to have a hanger. It's going to be hard to tell in the video. And then you're going to have both mufflers attached uh, onto the mid pipe. Once I get all that stuff out of the car, I'll be able to show you guys a little bit better on how everything looks and how it lines up, bolts up, all of that stuff. All right, guys, as you saw on the last time lapse, got the exhaust out of the car. It's currently sitting right here on the ground. I'm gonna just get all of the parts that we have, all the new exhaust parts that are in the back of the forest. So right now we're gonna get all that out and I'll put it all together side by side so you guys can see um, the difference between the two systems and obviously why we're replacing it. And just like that, we've got the old exhaust right over here. And we have the, all the components for the new exhaust right over here. We're gonna loosely assemble it off the car, put it in the car, and then, you know, tweak the flanges. So I'll show you guys why we're replacing this. So this exhaust works fine. It flows, everything is connected. It was on the hangers just as it should be, but the problems are right here. So Corey had inside of this, gasket right here it's completely porked and then same thing goes to this one it needed new flanges really badly on this one here this is a completely new system so basically this one here just bolts up to the flange you can see the thickness is a lot better on these ones than the old ones and then over here this is an adapter pipe this pipe goes into or goes around this one here put a clamp on it and then this here bolts up to the muffler and then same goes to the mid pipe here you have a flanged area that goes over this pipe and then you clamp it down and then up front here you throw a donut gasket and you flange that to the catalytic converter 
back here. The company that Corey got this from has all the flanges, clamps, donut gaskets, all of the things that you're gonna basically need to get this system working as it should. So let me loosely assemble this just so that we can move it under the car and make it a little easier for us to get it on. And then we'll pick up where we left off. Well, things don't always play out the way that you're expecting them to. So we come across our first problem. So these here are the gaskets that came in the kit. And unfortunately, neither one of these are the right size for the flange. So I'm gonna have to run to the store and grab new gaskets. No big deal there. But I can at least at the bare minimum get this flange put on here, get that one attached to the mid pipe. Once that's together, I'll put it in the car and then we can deal with this stuff while it's in the car. I also robbed the hardware from the old mufflers so that we can use it on this system because it did not come with new hardware. And then we should be peachy. All right, so we're back from the store. We have all the parts right here that we're gonna need to finish up this install. So let's get to it. All right, so that's gonna do it, folks. We've got the new exhaust system on. I went in there, tightened down all of the clamps, put all the gaskets on. Um, Corey is gonna need to get new rubber hangers. So right now, he or on his old system, I should say, he was running universal two-inch uh, rubber Sorry. hangers. So he's gonna order some Subaru OEM hangers so that this exhaust can sit up a little bit nicer and more in a factory location. But everything is done. Everything is partially tightened down. Got the whole new system down there. Kind of hard for you guys to see, but you get the point. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about this process or if you want to know more information about this car, we will be doing a breakdown on what it is and why I can get under it without jacking it up. Um, but for now, I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.